So there's kind of things that you'd probably expect to put in your personal statement, things like kind of previous experience, kind of what your ambitions might be for the future, whether that's clear or not, it's okay if they're not kind of set in stone just yet. Um, and then when it comes to your skills, I'd try where you can to think about kind of the evidence for those skills that you've got. So examples of where you've demonstrated those skills. Um, it might be slightly more unusual, it might not be within your academic studies, but you have undoubtedly got a huge number of skills that would make you really great candidates as a student um, and think about what evidence you have for that. And then I think for me, kind of what took um, a reasonable part of my personal statement was really discussing my motivations. So why did I want to come to Bath? What was the reasoning behind it? Um, and that kind of lets the person reading it understand you know, what, why this is the right choice for you, for you and then therefore why you're the right, right choice for them on their course. All right. So uh, I think like Beth mentioned, you have to talk about your motivation for, especially for maybe for life sciences, really, you don't, you want to talk about why you're interested in MSc because why can't you do something with your BSc maybe? So in addition to talking about your motivation, I think it's better to also talk about why Bath and why not Bristol? Why not other schools? Why do you really want to come to Bath? Because you could as well go to any other school. And I think one way to kind of tackle that is to look at the kind of research, for example, in my field, look at the kind of research that the faculty have been in Bath. You could mention some that appeal to you. Some, I think that's what I mentioned while I was applying for admission. I saw a professor doing something around uh, diagnosis of cancer, and that was very kind of fascinating for me. So that made me prefer Bath compared to any other universities around. So talking about why the university is very important. And you can name names, for example, if you find something interesting about a particular lecturer, you can name, put the name in your personal statement. I think there's no harm in doing that. That shows that you've done some homework and you're really fascinated about it. And I think the last thing I'll mention is the fact that it's also good to talk about the extracurricular aspect of things, really. For example, what you can bring to the universities. For example, if you're an athlete, you want to talk about that, that okay, joining the sport team in the university could be an advantage to the university as well. So talking about what you are bringing to the table, how you feel your background can contribute to the community or add to the diversity we have on campus. And that would be very, very helpful. Both of them have covered a lot uh, of what I was going to say. The only thing I'm, I'm going to add on is please give it time. Uh, do not rush with it. It is an important piece of uh, writing that you're going to do. Uh, it, it, it has got some weighted. So uh, create multiple drafts if you've got time and uh, do not like uh, put the personal statement off till the end and then just I mean, you know, a rush through it. That's definitely not the way to go. Think clearly about uh, the aspects of the course that you're choosing and how it aligns with, uh, you know, what you want to do in future. If you've got some idea, even otherwise, like Beth said, you know, uh, try your best to uh, align those things, uh, the course, the university, the city, everything. Uh, explain your choice and justify it. Uh, build on your strengths. Uh, you know what you're good at. Build on your strengths. Um, Talk about your achievements, uh, your skills, your experience. Just be authentic and give it time. Um, you know, write a nice piece of a, a personal statement. You should be good to go.